Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Ali Binti Muhammad Zaini and I will be presenting my final new project entitled The Life Cycle of Cytoplasm Species on Maize under the supervision of Mr. Tun Muhammad Firdaus bin Aziz. These are my presentation outline. Maize or zinis has become the main food for over half of the world's population. The main cause of maize grain loss is due to the infestation of pest insects, especially by the cytoflus species. There are about 14 species of cytoflus, but the most notable species are the rice weevil cytoflus oise, the maize weevil cytoflus zimis, and the granary weevil cytoflus granarius. They are all considered as primary pests where the adult damage the grain, inhabit larvae, and feed inside the grain. Infestation of pest insects are hard to control unless the causes contributing to their survival are observed. There are several research reported that the development of cytoplasm species depend on the environmental temperature, humidity, and types of grains. Infestation of pest insects in maize grain have caused a large amount of post harvest losses. About 15% to 77% of worldwide users have been charted for untreated maize due to the infestation by cytoplasm species. The loss of maize grain is mostly happened in the tropical countries where the storage facilities are insufficient and the environmental factors are suitable and conducive for the reproductive and development of weevils. Although there is a recommendation for the use of insecticide treatment for weevil control, there are reports regarding the development of resistance to insecticides among weevil population. More importantly, grains that are treated using chemicals are not safe for human and animal consumption. Therefore, environmental safety has directed a research for other alternative control of evil, such as the use of resistant crops against cytoplasm species. However, there were limited understanding regarding the factors contributing to the damage of maize and the suitability of cytoplasm species in producing progeny or continuity of their life cycle. This research may be useful for future alternative control in order to reduce outbreaks of pest insects. It is also important uh, in providing information about the infestation of cytoplasm species on maize and further understanding on the factors contributing to the damage of maize and the infestation rate during the life cycle of cytoplasm species. The objective of this study are to describe the life cycle of cytoplasm orizae, cytoplasm zimis, and cytoplasm granarius, to observe factors contributing to the damage of the maize and to compare and compile the life cycle of Cytoflus orizae, Cytoflus zimis, and Cytoflus granarius. Maize uh, came from the family of Gallinae and it is a diploid species. Maize require an average temperature of 18 to 21 degrees Celsius and annual rainfall of more than 750 ml. And the soil pH uh, requirement for maize is 4.3 to 8.7. Morphology of maize. The seed of maize plant is made up of three parts, which are the pericarp, endosperm, and embryo. Maize grain is divided into several types based on its endosperm, kernel composition, kernel color, and environment in which it is grown. The seed consists of two structures, a germ from which a new plant will develop, and an endosperm which will provide nutrients for the germinating seedlings until the seedling establishes sufficient leaf area to become osteotrophy. Chemical composition and nutritional value of maize. Component of maize are the carbohydrate, fats, dietary fiber, ash, vitamin A, niacin, vitamin E, and vitamin C. Maize also consists of macro and micronutrients such as calcium, phosphorus, iron, sodium, potassium, zinc, copper, magnesium, and manganese. Major chemical component of maize are starch and protein, which cover 73% and 11% of its weight. As you can see in the table, the starch has the highest percentage, followed by the crude fiber, fat, and protein. There are three factors contributing to the damage of maize. The first one is the moisture content. Maize kernel length, thickness, and geometric mean diameter increase with increase in moisture content. The desirable moisture content is between 16 to 22%. Excessive amount of moisture may deteriorate the grains, thus making it more susceptible to moles and insect pests. The second factor is the temperature and relative humidity. Relative humidity can be defined as the amount of water vapor that is contained in the air as a proportion of the amount of water vapor required to saturate the air at the same temperature. Several studies have been conducted to examine the relationship between temperature and relative humidity in grain storage in the tropics. The results have revealed a direct relationship between them. As shown in the figure, uh, that is as temperature increases, grain will lose moisture to the surrounding air, thus increasing the relative humidity. 
It was observed that 10 degrees Celsius a rise in temperature caused an increase of about 3% in relative humidity of the grains. The third factor contributing to the damage of maize is the insect pest. Insects are often contemplated as the main cause of maize grain, grain loose. More than 37 species of atropod pests directly linked with the maize grain are found during storage period. 1 to 5% stock grain in developed countries and 20 to 50% of stock grain in developing countries are lost due to insect damage. Based on the previous research, Cytophilus is classified as a primary or major pest because of its ability to destroy a whole maize grain kernel. Table above shows the Cytophilus species found in the grain storage and its optimal growth conditions. It is shown that as grain areas had the lowest value of requirement for relative humidity as well as temperature compared to Cytophilus aurisae and Cytophilus zimis. Taxonomy of Cytophilus species Cytophilus and its species are identified by using the case of standard taxonomy terminology along with gentle characters and the morphometric ratios. Cytophilus species is an insect under the order of Coleoptera, family of Cuculeonidae, mother of beetle and is categorized into phylum Atropoda. It is also classified under the subfamily Dryoptorin. Morphological characteristic of Cytophilus species Starting from the larvae, the outer part is white to creamy white in color. Larvae is legless and have a humpback with soft structure. For the pupa, it is usually white in color and have a black, hard head. The segments of pupa are movable. The adult of Cytophilus species are 2 to 3 mm in length and reddish brown to black in color. It also consists of 4 light yellow or reddish spots on elytra. In general, there are four stages of the life cycle of Cytophilus species and it usually starts with the adults growing the maize grain using its rostrum. It then uh, creates a hole or cavity and lays a single egg in it. The shape of the egg is oval, rounded at the bottom with whitish in color. The size of a deposited egg is about 0.2 to 0.5 mm long. The egg hatches into a creamy white epodes larva with a light brown head and is usually lasts about 5 to 6 days. Then the pupa will pupate inside the grain and last for about 6 to 7 days before turning into the adult reveal. The adults are usually 3 to 5 mm long with a long snout. The color of the body varies according to different species. This research review indicates that the life cycle of Cytophilus species on maize is compiled according to the data obtained by previous research. Based on the table, the egg incubation period for Cytophilus oryzae, Cytophilus zimis, and Cytophilus granarius are slightly the same, ranging from 4 to seven days. However, starting from the first install to fourth install, it was observed that Cytophilus zimis showed a faster developmental period compared to Cytophilus aurisae and Cytophilus canarius. Cytophilus canarius depicted the slowest duration ranging from six to seven days during pre pupa stage, while Cytophilus aurisae are the slowest during, pre during pupa stage, which varied from eight to eleven days. In addition, Cytophilus zimis had the shortest total developmental period, which took about 34 to 35 days to complete from egg to adult. This shows that maize is the most suitable host for Cytophilus zimis as, as it emerges faster compared to other Cytophilus species. In conclusion, the factors contributing to the damage of maize is observed and the life cycle of Cytophilus aurisae, Cytophilus zimis, and Cytophilus granarius on maize is described, compared, and compared. The longevity and fecundity rate, host selection, and population study of all three species of Cytophilus are also observed. In summary, this research review has shown that the main factors contributing to the damage of maize is the infestation by insect pests. Cytophilus species is also categorized as the most serious insect pest, which causes about 60% losses of stock maize grain. Other factors affecting the quality of maize grain are the moisture content, temperature, and relative humidity. In accordance with the developmental period of each Cytophilus species on maize, it was observed that maize is the most suitable host for Cytophilus zimis. recommendation in order to reduce infestation of pest insects, proper storage of maize grain and its environmental factors such as moisture content, temperature and relative humidity should be controlled. Firstly, the grains can be sun-dried to an intermediate moisture level of about 18%. Feasible technology with an intermediate moisture levels of 15-18% to 18 to store grain can also be applied. Last but not least, more research regarding the life cycle of Cytophilus species need to be conducted so that more information on the development of this species can be explored. That is all from me. Thank you.